Hello YouTube. Right. I'm going to do a quick short video. Um, we've had a delivery. We have a parcel. All the dresses removed in case there's any crazy stalking lunatics out there. So, <coughs> yeah, this one. Colissimo. All the way from France. I know what it is. So let's have a an unboxing. A live unboxing, eh? What could possibly go wrong? So I went down. Um, this turned up this morning. Oh, well, it turned up yesterday morning, actually. And I, there was nobody in, so I had to go to the post office to collect it. And on my way to the post office to collect it this morning, for some reason I, I collapsed. I went over and I've done my ankle. So I was going to go out later and do some more filming obviously i'm walking around because i've still got no truck but uh that's going to be out the window now because i can barely walk so i thought i'd do this live unboxing and what i'll do i did a bit of film last night i went out last night i thought nothing to do it was dark um so i thought i'd try my hand at urban foxing so yeah what i'll do i'll after this um unboxing and shout out i'll uh, i'll tag last night's efforts onto the end of this video give you something to watch it won't be nothing special but uh yeah and as, as soon as my ankle stops hurting i'll get back out there again so let's get this box open all the way from le france right so, we have a letter. I'm not going to read it out live on here. Um, right. Brilliant. Right. Now this is, um, this is a gift that's come from a guy in France, one of my subscribers. His name's Bruce Pooley. Um, thanks ever so much, Bruce, for doing this. It, must have cost a few quid to stick it in the post so he's very kindly sent this over to me with a nice little note with it um, and it's to help me do my my videos so thanks ever so much Bruce and this is what we got we have a tripod let me get the box out of the way So how about that? He's very kindly sent me over a tripod to help me um, do my videos. So this will come in very, very handy. You might not get so much shaky camera work when I get we get the hang of this. Um, yeah, I'll work cobble something up and I'll work something out to put my phone on it and we'll all be good. So thanks ever so much to Bruce Pooley, um, one of my subscribers, lives in France. Um, yeah, really, really appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, just, well, it's nice to, somebody would just go out their way and spend their money on postage and to send me something, you know, um, because they enjoy watching my videos, hopefully. So, yeah, again, ever, Bruce, thanks ever so much. Um, thanks for following. Thanks to all my followers. I, uh, I was sitting just under 200 subscribers about oh four days ago <coughs> and then uh, i had a shout out on scrap vandals channel i had a shout out on mad matt's bucket list and all of a sudden i've had a massive jump in subscribers it's gone from under 200 now I, I, last i looked it was it was about 250 some odd so i really appreciate everybody's help um I hope you uh, enjoy watching my videos. Well, you, you must do, otherwise you'd have buggered off by now, wouldn't you? But, yeah, as soon as I can get out and make some more videos, obviously I've got a setback now because I've twisted my ankle up. So, but as soon as I can get out there, I will do. But, I say, watch the bit I did last night. Um, it's a bit dark and it's nothing special, but uh, I'll put that on the end of this and it'll hopefully it'll keep you going for a while. So, thanks ever so much to all my subscribers. Thanks ever so much to Bruce. And... I will catch you all in the next video when I can walk. Bye for now. 
Well, welcome. Some urban foxing. I tell you, we're nothing on it because I had the cord months ago. A shopping trolley. Ain't no good to nobody. I'm quite enjoying the old nighttime urban foxing. Definitely no humans about, it's great. And I'll show you a few bits I found when I get back. Keep your eyes on the prize. Oh man. Nothing doing. It's a hedge pig. Poor little thing. I'll put him in a garden. Prickly little bugger, the old hedge pig. But I picked him up and put him in the garden safe out of the way. Don't even get him run over, do we? Put the light on. Gas eater, no good to me. But we'll have the cordage off of the old bread ball. And there's a regulator. We've got a cooker. No cordage. Bugger. And no van. Bugger. Microwave. Diddy little one. I've had the cordage, but... Oh, no van. Bugger. Well, I'm quite enjoying this urban foxing. It doesn't give you a lot to watch, but yeah, something different. Bugger all round here, bugger all. Well, tonight was a bit different. I thought I'd try my hand at urban foxing. And it worked a bit, because I went out earlier in the day and I found sod all. Now, I've been out, well, about half, nine, ten o'clock at night. And there was a cooker, microwave, gas heater, stuff laying around that weren't there earlier. So they've obviously waited till it got dark and then they dumped it. So, at some point, we should do a... A scrapyard vandal collaboration and he can have all the big iron then when he gets his van but yeah so we've got some cables we've got a gas regulator which would be handy cut the plugs bit of copper wire there so on the whole i enjoyed that going out nobody about nice and peaceful i had a good walk i was only gone probably about an hour walk to mile so we got something to show for it, so it just proves a point. Urban foxing. Onwards. <laughs>